Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I will show you 6 step process that I took to learn Python in just less than 2 months. Also, in the end, I have 2 recommendations for you. The first step has to be to find that best free online resource to learn. Now, because the internet is full of these free online Python resources, to make things easy, I chose two major resources from it. Now, the three things that you should be considering when you choose a resource is that it should not cover too much of content or too less. And it should cover those concepts in the less time possible. And something that fits your style of learning is also important. So that once you start learning, you are clear about how much you have to learn from where you have to learn and you don't need to look back to it. You should take two complete days to do this search and if you are too lazy to do that, I have two recommendations for you by the end. Two that I took was watch tutorial, practiced it and took notes. I see a lot of people just taking down notes and pages of pages of programming concepts they write. But let me tell you that's not how it's done. What I did was I watched the instructor coding, then I coded the same thing along on my system. And if there was something that I could not understand, I took note for that so that I don't forget it. And that's how you should be actually doing. The step 3 was I took time to understand every new concept that came my way instead of just mugging up the concepts. The problem with us is that we watch courses at 1.75x speed with not the aim to learn it but to complete the course as fast as possible. So let me tell you, you're wasting your time. Instead, what you should do, once you learn every new concept, give yourself time to understand it by re-watching it, practicing it again and again, such that when you go ahead in the course, you don't need to come back to it. The next step, that is the step four, is completely optional. If you want to learn something better, you better teach it. To get your concepts of Python strong, you should teach it. You can teach Python for free for, to your friends who want to learn it. Or if nobody is ready to learn from you, explain it to yourself what you have learned in the most layman terms possible. This will just build a strong base for you. Repeat the second, third and fourth step for each and every new concept you learn in Python. Now this should take you a complete one month to get completed completing all the concepts. The next step is to learn Python for your main goal. That is to get into the purpose to learn Python. For me, it was data analysis. For you, it could be web development, gaming, hacking and so on. Using the same step 2, 3, 4, learn the domain specific Python. This will take you a maximum of three weeks. The last step is to make projects using the domain specific Python that you have learned. If you have learned web development, practice this skill by actually developing a website. If you have learned data analysis in Python, do some real time data analysis. What this will do is make your concept more stronger and also help you build your portfolio. Now this is not going to take you more than a week. So keep this project a one week project. So by the end of the second month, you will have knowledge about beginner level, advanced level, as well as domain specific Python. So coming to the next part, which is two resource which helped me learn Python. So the first one is this specialization from University of Michigan on Coursera. This is a four course series that will cover the basic and advanced Python. Now the first course that is here is introduces you to Python. It covers data types like strings and lists, conditional statements like if and for loops and while loops. And also one thing that is so important, it covers errors and debugging those errors in Python. For beginners, this part is very important. Going to course two, this covers the next two data type that is dictionaries and tuples, then reading and writing files in Python. And this also includes writing user-defined functions and lambda functions. Coming to the course 3, this is where the advanced section start, where it covers nested dictionaries, nested list, list comprehension, 
also uh, goes in detail about APIs in Python, which is like a really advanced concept. Course 4 is the object oriented programming feature of Python, wherein it goes in detail about classes, inheritance, and also it teaches how you can code efficiently using unit testing. Course 5 is not so much useful if you are just learning beginning. In the beginning, you don't need to go to course 5. Now, the best part of all these four courses is you don't need to install Python on your system. The course itself is going to provide you with an online interpreter to run and write your codes. The next resource which was a great guide was this website called Programmers. This website actually served as my notebook for reference. So whatever I learned in the video course, I used to revise it here. How the website is structured, the concepts are so well organized and they will explain you the concept in detail and they will explain the concept with an example as well. Now, the best part about this website is they provide you with an online compiler also where you can run and test your codes and write your codes as well. So, do consider these two resources if you are getting started and if this video helped you, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.